Mark and Michelle, this has been going on for seven hours now. An ambulance just pulled up right behind us. We've heard many multiple bangs coming from that back apartment, possibly the sound of something like a flashbang grenade to try and coax the woman out of her apartment. An hours long standoff in the heart of a senior living center. Negotiators trying to reason with an older woman who shot at deputies from inside her apartment. Right now it's just time. We have time on our hands. Uh, we're going to try to communicate with her, uh, try to, you know, to have her come out as uh, safe and quickly as possible. Deputies were called for a welfare check on the woman, who neighbors say has a history of mental illness. When deputies approached her door, they say she fired a warning shot. It's just a sad thing altogether because this poor woman is schizophrenic and she never got the right help and she's been living here and we've all been trying to help her. During the tense moments at the Castaic Lake Senior Village, elderly neighbors had to be evacuated one by one. Some were told to shelter in place and hide in the bathroom like Liz Hill's sisters. They're nervous. I mean, they're scared because they really don't know what's going on in there. By nightfall, dozens of residents still locked out of their homes while deputies negotiated with a barricaded woman. Wheelchair-bound neighbors like Steve Reed were escorted to a temporary shelter. I'm happy to cooperate in any way I can. Mark and Michelle, tonight the American Red Cross is helping those evacuees at a nearby aquatic center. While this is going on, they can't come home, so it's going to be a long night ahead for not only those people, but of course the deputies right behind us. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.